Imagine a world where using a few lines of codings will cost you billions. This is what happened in a popular case of Oracle vs Google, where Google has used some of the codings of Java which was owned by Oracle and Oracle filed a case. And they filed a case demanding a compensation of $9 billion. What happened in this case, we need to really know because this caused a huge impact in the software industry about copyright law. This case talks about software copyright, its infringement, fair use and innovation. We need to know all of these points before coding our own software programs. This judgment has given a huge impact in the tech industry. In order to know its effect, kindly watch this video till the end. Myself Rohini, your corporate lawyer. Let's talk about the background of this case. The first party involved in this case is Oracle. Oracle is a company which owns a lot of database of software. Not only that, it has acquired Java APIs from Sun Microsystems in the year 2010. The second party involved in this case is Google. Google, as you all very well know, they are the creators of Android platform. And to create the Android platform, they have started using this Java API without the permission of Oracle. From here starts the dispute. The dispute started because Google copied 11,500 lines of Java API code for developing the Android platform which is now used in all the mobile. When this was known to Oracle, Oracle actually filed a case against Google claiming the copyright infringement because Java API codes have been completely copyrighted by Oracle and they are claiming that this is their creative expression and they own the copyright so Google has to either pay the royalty or they have to stop using this API codes. Now let's get into the argument from both the sides. Arguments of Oracle. Oracle first claimed that APIs are their creative expression. They have created a lot of API out of Java and they are stating that they filed a copyright for this because it was their creative work. Second point, Google has not taken any license from them or permission from them to use any of this Java APIs. Number three is loss of revenue because Oracle code are being used by Google. Oracle is going to face a loss of revenue because of unfair use by the Google company. In the defense argument, Google claimed the following points. The first argument was API is not a creative expression and it cannot be subjected to copyright. They mentioned clearly that APIs are nothing but building blocks or label in a program which is helped to communicate with the other program and it is not a creative expression. It is actually helping to communicate with the other programs and it cannot be filed under copyright. The second point which they claimed is the fair use. The use of Java API by Google was used to develop a new product called Android and which is used in the mobile platform unlike Oracle is using in a computer based platform. Third point they argued was before Oracle could acquire Java API, Sun Microsystem has encouraged Google to utilize this Java APIs to develop more and more softwares out of it. With the following arguments, Google claimed that this is not a copyright infringement case. Now coming into the verdict of this case. On April 5th, 2021, the US Supreme Court gave a final verdict on the following battle between Google and Oracle. They did not mention whether Java API is subjected to copyright or not, but they have stated that Java API which is used by Google is subjected to fair use. The reason for fair use is because Google has utilized those Java lines to create something new which is a part of innovation and they have also used in mobile platforms and when they have used in mobile platforms the Oracle has been only using it in computer platform therefore it is not subjected to any copyright infringement. Third important point in the verdict was it did not affect the Oracle's business. The reason being that right now Oracle is using the Java APIs to develop many other programs in the computer based platform whereas Google is using in the mobile platform which is totally a different sector. Therefore this might not affect the Oracle's business and loss of revenue may not occur due to this reason. This verdict has created a lot of impact in the software industry. The first positive effect which we are seeing is a fair use. 
Farios which is claimed is you can utilize some other software to develop a new software which encourages innovation. Also the developers need not worry or need not fear about they being sued for using somebody else's codes. This case has also encouraged fair use in a stronger way. But it also has its negative effect where it has weakened the software copyright and the second reason is it has opened up a lot of legal questions about copywriting a software. Considering both the positive and the negative effects, we can see that a lot of innovations can happen in the software industry, but it has a lot of questions about how much a software program can be copyrighted and how it can be protected in a much effective way. Let me know in the comment box whether API can be protected under copyright or not. Let me see your opinion. Like this, we are going to bring you a lot of interesting case for you to learn and grow. Like this, more interesting videos are upcoming in our channel. So subscribe to our channel. Myself Rohini, your corporate lawyer.